What's going on? Welcome back to the shit show. Today I'm going to attempt to uh, do a little wet sanding on my 2012 Ultra Limited on a big boo boo that this guy did to it. I'll take you take you over there, take a look. So did a lot of work over the winter here on this bike. Well, really not a lot, but did some work over the winter on this bike. And as I was putting on my head pipes and all that stuff um, with my brother, I was holding my pipes. And he had to take the jack down. Long story short. Anyways, I thought I had it secured. I didn't. 100% on me. And I put this big old nasty naster in there. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it is an older bike. I get that. But for being a 2012 and uh, being ridden in um, upstate New York and in northern Michigan its entire life, it's in pretty darn good shape. And, uh, I took a lot of pride in that gas tank. It was pretty, but uh, not anymore. Pretty fucked up, but we're going to fix that today, hopefully, unless I mess it up even more. We'll figure it out, right? But here we go. We're going we're to test it out. So the very first thing you want to do on this is get the area prepped up, right? Um, just clean it off with some water. You don't want to use any waxes or any real heavy detergents on it. It's going to contaminate the area anyways. Um, these things are, are badass. I get them from Home Depot. They're like $2.99 a piece. The sprayer on them works great. We do a good job. So uh, I'm going to sit you guys down, go over that, and uh, yeah, we'll get started. All right. Oh, you can see that hyper wax from Chemical Guys doing its thing. But we're just going to clean the area off really good. You got to make sure to you have yourself a clean microfiber towel. Um, just to get all the all the garbage off it. Oh, she's pretty. If you guys can see that very well. Right in there. It's not really picking up on camera as bad as it is on my on my eyeball. There we go. Right in there. So we're going to do a little bit of wet sanding and try to get that out. All right. So what I'm going to use today to get this out, again, I'm not a professional. I don't do this for a living. I don't even do it as a hobby. Um, but uh, I do know a couple things about a couple things. And um, this has worked for me in the past. So I know there's going to be a lot of guys on here coming on. Hey, how you do it? How you do it? Cool. Don't do it that way. This is how I'm going to do it. So um, I went to the rusty and trusty Harbor Freight and picked up some 1200 grit. Then the highest they had was a 2000 grit. And uh, I got 3000 grit actually coming through old Uncle Buddy Bezos over there at Amazon. But it snowed this weekend. And I knew it was going to snow, but I didn't think it was going to snow snow. And it snow snowed, so it ruined my, my plans for my video this week. But uh, nonetheless, We'll open this bad dog up. They don't want you stealing cart this uh, sandpaper at all. There's an easier way of doing this. But I don't take no easy way. Ooh, a couple sheets in there. Then you grab your handy dandy with scissor scissors. You cut the cardboard up a little bit cardboard sandpaper that's why i don't have a cooking show something like that right there now this is the 2000 we're gonna do the same thing on the old 1200 so now we got the uh 1200 cut up what i like using is uh you can you can hand do this if you're really 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 good um you can even use a little sander machine but uh I'm not going to do either of that because I, I don't do this that often. So what I've done in the past, though, is use a sponge or a Mr. Clean Magic Eraser and uh, use that as my as my sandy block, if you will. All right, we're back over here at the, uh, at the bike now. So got a little sandy block deal here. So I'm going to put you guys, point you guys down here and show you a little bit of a technique that I was taught by an actual guy who does this for a living um, on, on how to do this a little bit better. 
Um, this is probably through like the second coat of clear. Um, it won't be perfect, but it's better than having my whole tank repaired. There's another scratch. So we'll move on. Let me put you down here. Bear with me. I don't have a cool camera. Oh, there it is. All right. So first thing you want to do, get that nice and wet. The whole area just saturated. You can see that stuff work, and I have not done any anything to this bike since uh, October-ish of last year. Anything major other than just a quick. And then uh, you want to hit up your your sanding pad as well. I got hot water in here. That's why it's steaming. So. Could have made that a little bigger. So instead of, you, you don't want to go back and forth like this or up and down. You kind of want to go on a 45 to the to the area. Now my affected area is about an inch long. So I'm going to go around, right around in there. And then two, you don't want to have your pad flat. You want to keep it at a slight 45 like that. And what that's going to do is help prevent any gouging into the tank on the sharp corners. And to start, I'm just going one direction. You can see that getting milky. That's a good sign. It means, it means that clear coat is coming right off there. It's already looking better. You can still see it, it's still visible, but it's looking a whole lot better. Obviously, it's still wet. Now I'm going to try to just get in on the actual spot. All right, so now we're back with the 2000. Going to wrap it over my Mr. Clean Magic Eraser. You can already hear the comment section. It's all good, bro. It's all good. Spray it up. Get a little bit more water on there. You can see now how the water's sticking right there because I'm through that top layer. And then try to pinpoint onto my area. And you're not putting any pressure on this. You're letting the sandpaper do all the work. If you're putting force behind this, you're definitely doing it wrong. All right, so we're, we're done with the sanding. I'm about, about as comfortable as I'm going to get um, with my skill set getting any deeper than that. But uh, we'll try to send you guys around to see. See right there is just a little. But uh, we're going to try to get this out. And see what we can do see what it looks like if it doesn't look great i'll just repeat the process that's the beauty of this <laughs> let's try to let's try to buff that out sadly i'm out of my chemical guys stuff that i i usually use um i do have some of this turtle wax which is a great product as well so we're gonna we're gonna give that a shot on this old girl and see see how it does but uh you gotta remember to order some more stuff from uh the chemical guys website all right, so I need some advice from the old guys on here. I've been married a while. Anybody else? Wife just, as soon as you start moving, all of a sudden get a bug up their ass. They want to do everything at the same time. All day long. All day long. We've done nothing. We went, out, we went and did some shopping this morning. We had a nice breakfast. Leisure, lazy day. And as soon as I come out in the garage to, uh, to film, I said, hey, I'm going to go out and make a video in the garage. Okay. Here we are. <sighs> 21 years of marriage, man. Wouldn't trade for the world, though, so I'll be right back. I got shit to do. Now we're back over here at the bike. You want to give us a good shake? <laughs> and uh, you definitely want to make sure this tank and where you're doing this at is completely bone dry. 
and I believe she is. I say that and I found a water spot. So now you go get yourself another microfiber towel, which I have over yonder here. You shake this stuff up. Splooge it onto the, onto the rag. Way too much came out. Story of my life. That's way too much. Way too much. But it ain't going to hurt. So you just put it on there and you rub her in. Man, this color in like a matte finish would look beautiful too. Not that this is a matte finish, but having it having the shiny shine covered up a little bit it's, looks kind of cool. All right, so I got this little guy out to help me detail it a little bit better. Getting there some circular motion. Really work that in. All the way down, anything that... Uh, that that sandpaper touch is affected, obviously. So there's that. And then a quick wipe here from a microfiber. It's hard to do this with one hand. I don't know how these guys do it. And that's her. She's all but gone. I mean, I still see the impact. And you can see some stuff here too that'll come out with a little bit more buffing and waxing and all that jazz but you can see it right there the impact and uh i could probably go down a little bit more but to be honest with you i'm a little scared too but uh looks better than what she did that's for sure so i'll just clean this pig up new neighbors next door their dog got out the whole neighborhood's going crazy over a poodle. All right, I think we got the dog back. Who knows? So we're gonna foam this bitch, right? I had a really cool um, chemical guys one, one of these not too long ago, and I may have ran it over. But uh, I've had this Armor All one for a while, but this thing actually works really good. I'm not a big fan of the Armor All products. On a lot of things, um, not, nothing's wrong with them, but there's my opinion. There's stuff that's better that's out there for the same price range, and uh, well, this thing right here is, is awesome. I use it for everything, and this squirter thing, man, shoots like thirty feet. So, what they're blasting hornet's nest up in the in the gables, but all right, let's maybe we'll do it like that. I do it in the garage. It's still, I mean, it's nice out, but we still have snow on the ground, Michigan. Anywho, let's uh, let's spray this thing down. Man, I need to get a cooler. I film with an iPhone, and it sucks. I thought I don't need I don't need a special cool camera. I need a special cool camera. So, I'm I'm shopping that right now. But anyways, let's spray it down. Remember, I said how far it shoots. Like all of us men in our 40s, we don't shoot as far anymore. Let me go on and kink the holes. I'll be right back. The poodle's still out, but I think they got it now. Whew, thank God. Anyways, I was bragging this thing up and whatever. We're going to roll with it. All right, well, we got her uh, washed up and... Pretty much dried off. Took the old, the old Olsen's bag off, but uh, yeah, let's take a look. I'm gonna spin you guys around so you can uh, take a gander at my scratch. Okay, there she is. Still have a little bit of a of a gouge though. You can see it well, right there, and. There we go. You can see it right there. But from the five foot away mark, it's not there. And uh, I'm pretty sure nobody but me is going to see that thing. 
I still might attempt to uh, try to get that out a little bit more, but we're going to worry about that later on. That thing was driving me nuts from day one when it happened. So um, shit happens, though. That's why you protect your tank, you protect your fender when you're working on your bike. It was 100% my fault. So it is what it is. And uh, I got to learn something new and do a little uh, dusting off of some skills I used to use back in the day. But, uh, again, no way am I professional. Don't listen to anything I'm doing. This is just what I do, how I've done it in the past. And it, and it turned out pretty good. There's no other marks on there. Um, there's no scratches from the from the, the sandpaper. All that stuff gets buffed out. Um, there is a little bit better products in the turtle wax that I used. But that stuff does a great job. And... Uh, so now we're just going to do a quick detailing on it. It's still, you know, mid-March, and we just had snow. It was 70 degrees, like, a few days ago. And then we got, like, three inches of snow the other night. So I'm not going to go on and, and do crazy on the detailing um, just because I am going to ride. I actually plan on riding tomorrow. So, um, But we are going to shine her up a little bit. So let's go through a little bit of that real fast. So like I said before, I'm a big, big fan of the Chemical Guys stuff. They don't sponsor me. They don't give me anything for free. They don't even know I exist. Um, but I've been using their stuff for, I don't know, five, six years now. And uh, what I do like for the bike, and I keep this on my bike all the time, is this uh, synthetic quick detailer. Um, I'm nearly out, so i gotta got to replenish. But it's good stuff. So let's uh, take the old tripod over here, and we'll, we'll take a little look-ski look. So easy as gravy, just spray it on. I like letting it sit on there a little bit. A lot of guys too, you'll spray it on the rag, you know, and do all that stuff, but I'm not getting crazy. And you just wipe it down. It's uh, as easy as that. So again, with this detailer, the synthetic stuff, I mean, for what I'm doing, like I said, I carry this in my in my bike all the time. If I'm pulling up to like a, a bike night and or something like that, and my bike's not this totally destroyed, I'll spray it down with this real quick just to give it a good gleam and to make it look good. Now, you can clay bar stuff and do all sorts of stuff with this, but again, I spray it on a rag or spray it directly on there, wipe it off, and it comes out really good, and it smells smells really good. It smells like grapes, so um, yeah. That's it. We're going to get into the uh, the chrome and stuff like that here when I really, really get into the detailing thing. So I got a, a, a video planned for that um, probably April, mid-April-ish. We'll, we'll do that, and I'll tear the bike completely down, and I'll show you guys my deep, deep, deep uh, detailing and what I do. It's uh, quite the process, but uh, it, it lasts, and, it, and it's good. So um, I usually do that once or twice a year, um, get in there. Real deep black. That's it, boy. Get in there nice and deep black. Yeah, that's not good. And do all that. So, um, again, my bike's ridden. This is a 2012. She's not showroom worthy, but she looks pretty damn good. So, all right, guys, I do appreciate you. Um, remember to, uh, do the like subscribe thing. We're hitting like 250 something subscribers right now, 252. We're over 40,000, uh, views, which is cool. Way better than I ever hoped for. So thank you. And, uh, you know, just stay safe out there. Remember, ride with purpose. We'll see you. Bye. Almost forgot. Jeez. Everyone's been asking me about my tire and uh, I got that, that gouge in there. It looks worse than what it actually is, but it's still worth uh, replacing. So, I ordered from my buddies at Dennis Kirk. This is why I love Dennis Kirk and ordering anything through them because I ordered this two days later, sitting on my porch. Got me new, some new rubber. So, um, yeah, I'm pretty happy. We're going to put that on. I'm not going to do a video on it. No one really gives a shit. But uh, I do have a spot here in town, though, so we'll end up taking the front rim off. We'll go down to a tire shop here in town. They put it on. It's like 25 bucks to have it mounted and balanced and throw it back on. So anyways, love you guys. I do appreciate everything and uh, we'll see you soon. Bye.